welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Ukataya here in the lovely Honolulu, Hawaii, PTC 2018 with my friend, Mr. Joe White. He's the CTO of Brightlink IP. Joe, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for having me. Oh, thanks for being with us. And for our viewers who may not already know, give us a quick overview of Brightlink IP. Sure. So Brightlink is a full service carrier. We're a CLAC in the United States. Uh, we're also a wireless provider and you know, have an array of different services from inbound and outbound voice, SMS messaging, and some APIs that we, we use to enable that platform. And the new, uh, the new shiny press release that you guys just released, you have a new sales team lead on your team, industry vet John Bellinger. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? Sure. Yeah, so John was a great addition. Um, we've known him for a long time and have you know, followed his career, and uh, we're excited to be able to bring him on board. He uh, brings a lot of um, industry experience and also has some great channel background and, and really understands our business and, and how we can expand it in the future. Yeah, we've known John for quite some time. He's, uh, he's definitely got the connections for you. And along the same lines, you've got some exciting global expansion news. You want to share with us about your team's goal to branch out? Sure, yeah. So we actually started uh, looking for some additional points of presence throughout the world. So we're going to start in London this year, um, where we'll be building a full uh, data center and um, using that to connect to our Western European customers and launch some new products over there. Uh so exciting. So Europe and then Asia. That's the plan. Also, your team has been very busy with your platform, uh, such as allowing third parties to leverage voice messages uh, in applications. Just one example. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit more? Well, you know, we've been developing software to layer on top of the you know, telecommunications network that's already there. So uh, part of that is building APIs so that customers can send SMS messages without having to have a lot of infrastructure. Uh, the other piece that we've been doing is uh, creating software to allow customers to see their messages and their traffic in our network. So that's our live view platform. And what that does is allow a customer to see in real time um, cost codes, statistics, historical data, CDRs, uh, all from their web browser. And, and talking that live view platform, um, tell us about your um, those uh, enhancements that might be on the horizon. Yeah, so with live view, um, currently we have the ability to see what I, what I mentioned, but uh, we're rolling in things like alerting and alarming so that in the future our customers will be able to go straight to their dashboard, uh, see anything uh, that may, they may want a notification about, and uh, control it all from there. I just, I, I love when you start talking uh, data-driven uh, applications. It gets me excited. It's That's definitely right. the way of the future, for sure. So talking about new trends, what yep. do you see coming up in 2018, especially uh, in terms of voice messaging and application-based services? I just think uh, we're going to see a lot more software la layered over top of traditional communications. I mean, that seems to be um, the way to bring it to the enterprise and to, to get more end user type customers using our products and services. So I think that'll only continue to increase. And Joe, for our viewers who might not already know, where can they go for more information? Best place is brightlink.com. And uh, from there, we can get in touch and happy to explain all the great products and services we have. And you heard it, brightlink.com. Clearly a company to watch. Thanks, Joe, for being with us. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV.